Hey guys, Elsie Fever here. I want to 88 rated team of the match day, Cho Hyung Woo player review. Apology if I pronounce his name wrong, but I refer to him as Wu for the rest of the video. So this card has been released as part of the team in match day 3 due to his performance for Korea Republic in the World Cup. He started off as a silver, then got an upgrade to a 75 gold, so this card has been given a massive boost in stats. I'm pretty sure he's the highest ever rated goalkeeper in the K League since the beginning of Ultimate Team. Shout out to Rave TMZ for requesting this player review, as it's someone I would have been unlikely to review. If you'd like to request any player reviews, please just leave a comment in the comment section below. Anyway, this is the team I used him in, starting of course with Wu in goal. Zaba Costa, Ryong, Il and Rose in defence, Son, Ward Prowse, Henderson and Willian in midfield, with Rashford and Jesus in strike. He was 6 foot 2 with a traditional save technique, he's right footed and has a 4 star weak foot and 1 star skill moves. He's relatively cheap on the market, going for around 15 to 18k. So moving into the in game clips, I'll start with his positives, the first one being his diving. 88 at this point in the game isn't something to shout about, however, playing with him in game, his diving felt good for the most part. He has a decent reach when diving to save the ball, and most importantly, he moves before making the save, which allows him to save a lot of shots. I'm also going to factor in his height as a positive here, as with him being 6 foot 2, this is the entry point for me as to where keepers begin not to be affected with reach issues caused by their height. Some keepers do still struggle at 6 foot 2, but surprisingly, Wu dealt with a lot of shots at full reach, and sometimes made it very difficult for my opponent to score against me. His position at 87 also wasn't really an issue with this card. I wouldn't consider him to be bad against long shots. I think I only conceded two, one being his fault and the other one was partially my mistake as I brought him out of his line slightly, making it harder for him to make the save. This also contributed to how great he was against crosses. I was surprised to see that he didn't actually have any traits apart from injury prone as I expect him to have the guns for crosses trait at least. He always comes out to meet the ball, mostly punching it clear and occasionally catching the ball. Speed wise, we felt really fast in game. I always forget that even low 60s speed is still considered fast for a goalkeeper as so many players now have 60s and even 70s speed. He comes out to meet plays really quickly and is great if you like pressuring your opponent by manually bringing him out. This is also a contribution to how well he deals with crosses as like I said before he has the speed to come out and cut the ball whilst it's still in the air. Next is reflexes which for me are one of the best things about this card. He reacted lightning fast to so many situations making game winning saves. For 15k I can honestly say that he's a cheap De Gea due to his reflex ability. Another thing that surprised me is that he makes a lot of saves with his feet, even against low driven shots which a lot of keepers struggle with and considering he doesn't have the saves with feet trait this is a massive positive. Another positive is something I don't really mention too often but it's something that can't be overlooked with this card and that's his 4 star weak foot. It's rare for keepers to have such a high weak foot rating as usually it's around 2 or 3. It's just good to know when passing out from the back in pressure situations you don't really have to worry about which foot it falls to. The final positive is his handling which outperformed the stat of 86 on the card. It felt as though it was in the 90s and probably helped by the fact he has the traditional save technique and he's more likely to make saves with two hands, increasing his chances of catching the ball. Now onto the negatives, starting with his distribution. After all these highly boosted cards being released, I began to take this stat for granted, however you can really notice it in a keeper if it's bad. His kicking really wasn't that powerful or accurate out of his hands, or from the floor. His throwing also wasn't that impressive, lacking power and distance. The next negative, and definitely an important one, was his consistency in games. Some keepers struggle with consistency from one game to another, but this card sometimes will make incredible saves and stupid mistakes in the same game. It's really frustrating to see him make a quick reflex save that stops a certain goal, just to then see him concede a goal that he doesn't even attempt to die for. Now this doesn't happen all the time, and I'm probably making it sound a lot worse than it actually is, but it's something you should keep in mind when using this card. The final negative is his league. Now this of course is an issue with the card if you don't own icon defenders, as it's almost impossible to make a competitive team due to the players available in the K-League. All the centre backs in this league are silver or lower which could easily put players off using this card if they wanted to make a competitive team on a budget. So overall I'm going to give 88 Cho Hyun Woo an 8 out of 10. For 15k you really can't go wrong with this card, however it's not worth downgrading your team for the sake of this goalkeeper. He's great most of the time and if you have the coins and feel like experimenting with different players I'd recommend giving him a try out. However he does struggle time to time with consistency issues and his distribution is below average. Also I almost forgot to mention that I tried him with basic and glove chemistry styles there wasn't really a big difference between the two of them, but if I had to choose, I'd say he played slightly better with Glove. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And to request any future content, please just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply.